Were you guys out there? Like, Cause I know they had a they had a police shooting out there. The day before. Um, the day before y'all got there? No. The, okay. Yes. The day before the whole team got there, there was a shooting. Wow. And then a park that we went to the day before there had been a shooting in that park. Sheesh. And so nobody was trying to come outside, but somehow when we like lit up the block, people just came out. And then after they were like, yo, like this is crazy. Nothing like this ever happens here. Somebody would have died. Typically, like this would have ended like and nothing happened. People wow. came up for prayer. They came up with guns on their ankles, like, and we were just like, <laughs> 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 We're gonna love you. Don't shoot me. Let's get the people what they want. The Wado Radio Show. It's DJ Wado, man. We're here with Angie Rose. Hola. I feel like I shouldn't even be shaking your hand today, though. You you got the... I came out like a girl today. Yeah. It's lit. Yeah. How you doing, though? Good. Really good. Good? Yes. I remember last time we did one of these, you was kicking bars for like 20 days. Right. Almost a month. It was interesting. Yeah. It was a good time. <laughs> that was like, what, two years ago? Yeah, it was two years. That was a couple Sheesh. years ago. Yeah, totally different person. I, I was going like. to say, there's a lot lot change, a lot going on. So what's, so, so what's, what's shaking? Um, I don't know. Just uh, a lot of music since then. Um, unfortunately, I haven't dropped the project. I dropped a few singles since then. But when we last spoke, I hadn't even like recorded a song. So. Yeah, you hadn't. No. We did two, though. We did. No, we did one, but it was like on accident. Yeah. You remember how that happened? No, I remember. <laughs> I won't put you on blast, but I remember. <laughs> you can put me on blast. I won't, I won't. I won't. Yeah. I served water to the artists that were actually supposed to interview. Yeah. And then he was like, you look like you could rap. And, and then I, I just started putting beats on and you was like, I was like, this is crazy right now. Like That was fun. Yeah. I was shaking the whole time. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that was fun, though. It was. That was real fun. That was real fun. So I do, I do want to ask you this. I was going to save this, but you kind of brought it up. <laughs> Why haven't you put a project out? Sheesh. Um, I think that's the million dollar question right that now. That is the million dollar question. Um, I think I've just really been working on music um, for a while. Um, but just a ton of different things have happened, like beats have fallen through or like things that I had done ended up not being able to work out and just a lot of stuff that I didn't know about the last time that we didn't talk, but the last time I rapped, um, I didn't know anything about industry. I didn't know anything about like the business or the politics of anything. Um, so yeah, all a lot the of stuff that, that I worked all the stuff that sucks about doing this. Yeah. I didn't know that right. existed. I thought it was just get in the booth, make music, drop it. It's not. Yeah. So now I know. So, um, I'm working a lot. I've been in the booth like once a week for the last few months. Wow. So there's tons of records just sitting. So really I'm just organizing where to put them. Um, once I drop, I'm planning to just keep dropping. I got you. So you think an album, EP, or are you just figuring all of that out? Yeah, kind of figuring all that out. But um, first, it's going to be an EP. Um, I just want to do some hip hop. Because, um, like, the Wado thing is kind of what made people know who I was. Because once they heard the name Angie Rose, there was no music for them to listen to for like six more months. So people just kept going to that interview. Um, and so a lot of people were just like, yo, she spits. So I want the first thing that I like put out, put out to be just rap. Um, and chill vibes like real New York um, and then there's a lot of other sounds that are just sitting like in the external hard drive on my computer wow I you know one of the things that I've come to realize about you even since that space is like you you're versatile in terms of like the type of music that you can make because it's like you can spit you sing a little bit you know what I mean and it's like have you figured out what you think your sound is um, as an artist? Sonically, no. Um, but I think emotionally, um, I definitely always want people to feel something. Um, so now even like the stuff that I have sitting around, like there's stuff where like I'm just being stupid. So you're going to laugh um, because I feel like that's a big part of <laughs> me. Um, yeah, I think Insta Snap has <laughs> revealed that. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's like a whole <laughs> different person there versus the pictures like that. <laughs> it's like me cross-eyed all day um so there's um some records like that where it's just fun and um again just very new york um and then there's stuff where just i'm um, sad and so you can feel that like i've had some friends i played them some stuff and they start crying and i was like really wow that was intense um and yeah i think sonically it's just hard to pin me down but what you'll always have is like a a, a genuine message i'll always be aiming to say something um and always 
do it further than the music. Like I'll drop a track. Um, and a lot of stuff like is coming with devos. Like I like to write periods, so not just music. Like I like words. Wow. Um, so besides most of the songs, there's devos attached. That'll really like, yeah get wow. further in depth. So wow. So you letting people into your quiet time? Yes, but that's always been a big part of um, what I want my music or my person. You know, people don't buy music anymore; just alone. They buy they a buy brand. The brand. They buy the brand. So yeah, a big part of my brand, I think, has always just been to be organic, um, just because I think that's easier. That way, um, people might see me develop, but they'll never say I changed my character. Mm. Um, and so yeah, I think if I'm just me the whole time, I can never veer off. So. Wow, that's interesting. What uh, what inspires you these days? Shoot, I feel like everything. Like, it was crazy because the last time we legit spoke was two years ago. I feel like now, um, I'm just so open to life. Like, life inspires me. Like, it's weird. I eavesdrop on <laughs> conversations, <laughs> like uh, on the train. Like, I was gonna like, say you yeah. one of the people on the train. You mm-hmm. be listening. Anyway. I do, I do. I watch people. I look in the cars. Or like, I go for late night drives a lot more than I used to. Um, I think the last time we talked, I didn't know what stress was yet. <laughs> the last two years, I've started to understand stress. Understand it. Yeah. Um, so I go for drives, and I just sit in the car. I put a sermon on sometimes, and just, and, like, I'll come back home, like, full. Like, um, so, yeah, I'm just inspired by, like, life in general. Like, I'm just living with eyes wide open. Like, wow. You um, you you did some, some ministry with Truce this summer. Yeah. How did that go? And, and and even just for people that maybe is like truce, what is that? Yeah. Like just just kind of explain that whole that situation. So truce um, is from like one of the biggest evangelists, Nikki Cruz. Nikki um, Cruz. He had a hip hop group back in the day, uh, which like, like at the start of hip hop. <laughs> right at the start. Like of it year. might not even been called hip hop at that point. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then over the years, just a lot of people have gotten in and out of it. A lot of people like uh, Rich Perez was in it. Andy. Yeah. Um, just t- D. Will, Alex a lot of people, Alex Medina, um, and so they stopped it for f- for a few years, and then out of nowhere he got a call. Um, I did it twice. The year last year they got a call from like politicians or whatever from Marion, Ohio, calling truce back out, wow. but there was no truce. Mm. Um, and so Pastor David Ham just started hitting people up, um, and I was one lucky or, or blessed enough to be one of the people they called out. Um, so that was awesome. We went out, we did street evangelism. We show up on the block with like a DJ speakers, set them up and start rapping in the neighborhood. And that's it. And hopefully people come and by. People always come out. Wow. So it's not even hopefully anymore. People always. Well, like, I was going to say, if you just out there freestyling, they come in. They come in. <laughs> I start pointing or I, I pull up in their yards, like rapping to them. Like, and they're like, no. And they always, the same face always. I'd be like, I can rap. And they'd be like, miss. Go to snap. Like, no, I can really rap. <laughs> and so we start and then they come out. Um, so last year was awesome, and then this year I got to do half because I had some shows. So I got blessed enough to be called out, even for the even though I could wow. only do half. Um, and we hit the streets and just like I needed it. I was not okay emotionally. Yeah. Um, and that trip just, oh man, like I felt blessed. I felt loved. I felt cared for, protected. Like it was exactly what I needed. How about the nerves of? Because this is the thing, right? A lot of times in this little Christian bubble, it's like. <laughs> You get to do your sh- song at a youth group and mm-hmm. nobody's going to boo you. You know, it's like it's just it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But it's like when you going out doing street evangelism yeah, and, and you going in cities like you don't really know anybody. There, right. Right? right. It's like how how is that even just the preparation process um, to get up on stage and or not even on a stage to right, get on, on a street her, on corner? Tarp. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. I, I don't even I don't think about that stuff like it's, I think that I thrive off pressure sure. like to a certain extent um, especially for freestyles like like that freestyle lasted as long as it did because I was nervous as heck mm. like I was I was so if you like, weren't nervous you probably, probably only got eight bars yeah I would have flamed out like, <laughs> not like at least 16 you know? like, nah. <laughs> but um yeah I would have totally flamed out but like that my heart beating fast is I think that just makes my brain work yeah. like faster um, and so that feeling when I go into these places where people are like on the block, like that feeling just irks me more. And I just be like, what up? Like, come down, challenge me. Like, and people come. And it, yeah. And I, I don't know. It's just, it's popping. I love it. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So you guys, what did they say when y'all went to Milwaukee? Was it Milwaukee this year? Yes. Was it Milwaukee? I forgot. Yeah. Milwaukee? Milwaukee. Last year was Marion. Wow. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Especially with, cause, were you guys out there? Because I know they had a they had a police shooting out there. The day before. Um, the day before y'all got there. No. The, okay. Yes. 
the day before the whole team got there, there was a shooting. Wow. And then a park that we went to, the day before there had been a shooting in that park. Sheesh. And so nobody was trying to come outside, but somehow when we like lit up the block, people just came out. And then after they were like, yo, like this is crazy. Nothing like this ever happens here. Somebody would have died. Typically, like this would have ended like, and nothing happened. People wow. came up for prayer. They came up with guns on their ankles. Like, and we were just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to love you. Don't shoot me. That's crazy, though. Yeah, it was dope. It's, it's funny how God works and, and kind of orchestrates with stuff oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, he's dope. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Well, Angie, um, we will be on the lookout for this new music. Yay. And yes. we will. I wish I had my turntables here, a beat Whoa. or something. I was ready. I was ready. You was ready? I was so ready. So why don't you give them some bars? Just, uh, just, just random bars? Just, just like some acapella? random bars. Acapella. Give them acapella. I'm doing an acapella tonight, so I'll just practice. There you go. Okay. Do I look at you or the camera? Because now I'm like awkward. Camera. You got to look at the camera. You get the camera. I'm just kidding. I told him, watch me beat the odds like an abusive math teacher. They say in the flow is hot. Guess that's the reason for this fever. Because God, living and giving, delivering infinite amounts of mercy, thirsty Thursday, communion, a union we be abusing. I said, God, living and giving, delivering infinite amounts of mercy, thirsty Thursday, communion. That's the union we be abusing. Well, this is awkward. Let me let y'all breathe. Then I'll proceed to teach them these are the people that needed me. I guess we're always where we need to be. So I stare in the face of tragedy, screaming, this is what I need to see. I used to think there was a limit to my metaphors until I met a lady crying and said, I know what I met her for. I never met a four I couldn't count on. Wait, no, met a four, that's the number you could count on. Like five, six. Pick up sticks. See, Pharisees will throw stones at glass houses, but they'll always miss. Because Ali taught me that you can't hear what you can't see. So if something is invisible, it don't mean that it can't be. God. Mm, Angie Rose. <laughs> nice. It's lit. <laughs> Wait-o, wait radio. radio.